Hi beauties, welcome back to Ipsy versus Ipsy. It is probably our most popular segment on this channel. All the unboxings we do, it seems that you guys really like the Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, basically what I do is I have an Ipsy subscription. My mother has an Ipsy subscription. We both do the standard bag and the plus. And each month I take both of our bags, I unbox them. And then um, now with the plus changes, it's a it works a little bit differently. I used to pick out my five favorite items, five ideal items um, from the whole, I, what am I talking about? I don't know. I think I just had like a, a momentary like, I, outer body experience. I don't know. Let's let's rewind, rewinding, rewinding. Normally what I do is I pick my favorite bag between the two as a whole. And then I, out of all the products that we received, all of the 10 products we received, I picked my five favorite and I make my ideal bag. That's what I was trying to say, but I got jumbled up somewhere along the way. So moving forward. With the new changes, obviously we are, it's much more customized because we're basically picking our own um, bags. I used to not look at the spoilers. I would pick my one customization item and then I wouldn't check when they sent the email of like, this is what you're getting. That's completely done now. Cause like we're choosing everything ourselves. So I see the whole bag. I know the whole bag, but yeah, I still think that you guys like to see it. I like talking about it and I'm actually pretty satisfied with how the changes have gone. I did point out a couple little issues that I saw in a, in a different video where I talked about the process of choosing these for this month. Um, I won't go back into that because I think it's unnecessary. There's a lot to talk about already as is, but I'll have Nikki link it so that you guys can see that video and kind of hear what I, how my, my thoughts on how it went were. So yeah, that's a lot of rambling. That's a lot of talking. Let's jump into the good stuff, which is what we got. Um, I always start with my mom's. I don't know why at this point it's just tradition. So we're starting with mama's. Hers showed up yesterday and it hasn't been opened. We've actually both been getting a lot of broken products recently. So I'm kind of hope I checked all mine, but I didn't check hers. So I'm kind of hoping like nothing in hers is broken, but also she said she was going to email. She added, she did add add-ons. I added one add-on. In fact, um, the, the eye look I created today, I went ahead and used the Carmel Melange palette from Zoeva. That was the one add-on I did. It was $12 additionally, and it was, I loved it. It was beautiful eye look, really easy to use. I was very, very glad that I picked it up. She also did get that palette, so I'll go ahead and pull that out. That's what it looks like. Mine's sitting next to me. In fact, I'm not gonna open hers. I'll just show you guys. I'll show you mine since I, I'll let her open it, just, just in case it's broken. <laughs> I feel like every time I open a palette when I get it and I haven't checked it, I'm like, is it gonna be broken? Is it not? I don't know. That's mine, gorgeous, really neutral colors. These six are matte, these four are glitter pigments. And this one is kind of like an interesting glitter. It's almost like, it's, it looks like a totally different texture. It looks like a matte shade with just like gold reflectors in it. It's definitely what I would classify as a glitter. Really like the palette, really beautiful, very easy to work with. So glad that I picked it up. She also got that. She did opt to get the Farsali little trio. I thought about that too, but it was like $25. And I was like, no, I have to be good. So I know she chose this. I thought about choosing it too. It's the dual lip crayons from uh, Galactic is what it looks like. They're three in one sparkle bombs. You got two of them. One came in periwinkle and one came in twinkle. Her twinkle one doesn't have a lid at all and is all like melted and squished. Like there's not even a lid in the bag and I don't see a cut on it. So I just think that it got packaged wrong. Unfortunate, definitely. I'll let her deal with that and I'll let you guys know how that kind of goes. Really sad because I actually, I really thought about getting these myself because they're really, really pretty. I'm gonna leave them in the package so she can see and take a picture of them without it being disrupted. But I still, I mean, I still like it. Hopefully they're good about doing like, you know, a replacement for it. I think they will be. They're normally pretty good about it, but it is always a challenge. There's always this kind of struggle when you get a product that isn't in perfect condition and you're kind of like, what, what's gonna happen? Who knows? Um, but yeah, so those, so she got, that was one of the things, there's one more thing she bought. She went with the Julep Cushion Complexion 5-in-1 Skin Perfector with Turmeric. This is my favorite primer, I mean primer, uh, concealer out there. I love it. The Turmeric, just absolutely phenomenal. Turmeric does a great job of doing like, um, it de, uh, depuffifies. That's not the word I'm looking for, but it's that's what I'm gonna go with because I can't think of another word that is actually a word. So it takes out puffiness. It Turmeric is really good at brightening things. So it does a really great job. It's very seamless. I really cannot say enough good things about this concealer. I did not opt to add it onto my bag. It was like, I think it was like $12, really great deal. I didn't opt to add it onto my bag because every time Julep does a sale directly, I buy multiple ones of that concealer. So I have about, I think like, eight backups of it right now. And I was like, you're good. You're good, girl. You want to, I know you do. I know you, but you, you have more than enough. That's more than enough for you to muscle through for right now. 
So I did not get it, but those were the three things she added on. So um, the, the Julep Concealer, the Caramel Melange, and the Farsali. Now what she got, we've already talked about her broken little things, unfortunate, um, but still really pretty though. I think they're gonna be really cool. And I think the whole idea with it is like the three in one is like you can use it as a highlighter, you can use it as a lip gloss, you can kind of use it for whatever you want. So really, really like that. Now the two things that were chosen for her, she got the Gold Fodden MD Bright Eyes Dark Circle Radiance Concentrate. This to me is something I would have liked to get. It was not an option for me and it wasn't chosen for me. Um, I've since, since 2020 started and where I've really not been leaving the house much, I've been doing a ton more skincare. So I've kind of, I still prefer to get makeup, but I've kind of changed the way I feel about getting skincare products. You guys, if you've been with us for a while, you know, I used to kind of complain about it a lot just because it's not really what I was focused on. Now I'm, I'm really doing makeup like once or twice a week. It's, we sit down to film and if we film, I do makeup and that's about it. Um, so I've been doing a lot more skincare masks and, and creams and brightening things and stuff that my skin actually looks great. You say a lot of what you will about 2020, but my skin, I've been paying a lot more attention to it and it's pretty, it's doing pretty well. So that is a little silver lining there. But yeah, so she's got the Golden Fight, the Gold Fatted MD Bright Eyes, pretty decent size, um, nice little pump bottle. Like I said, it was something that I, I saw it and I was like, oh. I should have bought, I, I think I could have added it on. I did not do that, but I, I would, like I said, I was trying to be good. She also got the Trezik Face 2-in-1. It's just a contour stick, but I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, they just call it a, a color and contour cheek stick. This is really not up her alley at all. It's kind of an interesting choice for her. It's more something that I would um like to get, but I love Trezik. I normally have their like lip stuff, but I really enjoy their stuff. Their packaging is precious and a little, looks like a little crayon. And then you open it up. It is a nice little um, nice little stick. I just don't think it's something she's gonna use a lot. And like I said, this is something that they chose for her. Um, but it does come with this precious little buffing brush at the end too. I really liked it. I was a little bit jealous of it, I'm not gonna lie. I liked her eye cream too. So that's what they chose for her. Two good products in my opinion. Okay, her final two products she got. She got the Space Case Cosmetics Quad. And I really spent a lot of time debating whether or not I wanted to get this or not. Love it, um, really gorgeous colors, very neutral, but they are all shimmer. And I typically don't gravitate towards palettes that have all shimmers. I like to have at least one or two mattes in there so I can feel like I can do a full eye look with it. I think it's just a little bit more challenging to do um, an all glitter palette. So she did not really want to pick it up either. She kind of feels the same way I do. And, and even more to an extent, cause she doesn't use glitter the way I do. She uses it much more sparingly. So she's kind of like, I don't know. But in her choices, I just remember her being like, there's not really anything else that I would get over it. So she did go with this. I think it's a beautiful palette though. I still think it's a great product. She just kind of was like, I don't know. It's not really me, but I guess I'll go with it. This, I, I hate to do this, but there's, I have to open it because I want you guys to be able to see it. This is like a, it's a item cheek money little face palette. It was one of my choices as well. I really thought about it, but I opted to get a, an eyeshadow palette instead. Really nice packaging. I love the colors. I love the gradient and I, it's very sturdy, much sturdier than I thought it was gonna be. Really beautiful, just dual bronzer uh, contour. I would definitely use it as a contour just because my, um, my skin is so light, I normally go in with it, but it's really, really pretty. I think she's gonna really like that one too. I think that's gonna be one of the products that she probably gets the most use out of. If I had to say for her, for what she got in her bag, she's gonna wind up getting the most use out of the eye cream and this, this bronzer, if I had to guess. Um, but overall, I really like her bag. I like what she added on. Everything she added on were things that I considered adding on or with the Zoeva palette, I also added on. I like it a lot. That's her bag. Let's jump into my bag now. Mine came first. Last month, hers came like two weeks after mine came. Mine sat and, wait, and we waited forever for hers to get here. This month it was like, I got mine and then like a couple days later she got her. So it really wasn't as much of a, a waiting process. And last month I didn't do add-ons and she did. So I thought that was part of it, but I did add-ons this time too, only one, but I still did it. So that didn't seem to affect it. The first thing they chose for me, I got two little face masks from, and they're sheet masks. They are Star Skin. It is the Close Up Firming Biocellulose Face Mask and the Foaming Peeling Puff Sponge Peeling Moussant. I don't, I don't know. This one, I don't know actually what's gonna happen with it. I'm interested to try it out. And then I've been using sheet masks a lot recently. Um, I like to do it after I do like a pore ripping mask. Like I, I have one that I talked about in my, 
top pick products for the month. That one really goes in there and kind of like digs out like all of your pores and your sins and your depression and everything else it possibly can. And so afterwards, after I do it, I like to do something that's gonna kind of go in there and and give me a little bit of nutrition back into it so it's not just my exposed pores like in, in out fending for themselves in the wilderness. I think this will be a good one. I'm not gonna lie, I really wasn't thrilled with getting this. I, I don't hate it. I just don't like getting sheet masks. I have like an entire drawer filled with them, but it's still, I'm not at all gonna complain about it. I still think it's a good product. I, I just was like, meh. I saw what my mom got and I was like, meh. I would have preferred like the Tracy cheek stick or something else, but it is what it is. It is not a bad product. It's just kind of, I was like, it was my least favorite of what I was getting. The other thing they chose for me, they chose the Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. I really like this. Vitamin C does a great job of like going in there and getting out like dark spots and all that stuff. So I, I have really bad bags under my eyes. That's why I, I discovered I love the Tula anti-inflammatory eye cream that goes in there and reduces your puffiness as well. So I was, I'm hoping this is gonna kind of uh, be another nice little eye cream that I can use on the day to day. Um, but I have not, I don't think I've tried anything from Context, so I'm interested to see how it works, but I was excited about that. Now, my first choice was the Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette from Seraphine Botanicals. I wanted to go in and open it up beforehand um, because there's not, I'm like, before I used to be really, I wouldn't open my bag at all because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Like I said, there's no more like secret to it. So it's, I don't really mind as much like opening it up, kind of like what I do for my Ulta hauls where I, I open it up and I check everything beforehand. I did not unwrap it though. I opened it and I did, I was like, whatever, we'll, we'll do it on camera for fun. We'll do it. Um, now the interesting thing, just to talk about kind of like what I brought up in the other video, I said I wasn't gonna get too much into it, but my mom actually has the two eyeshadow palettes that I chose. She already received them from Ipsy. So one of my things was just kind of like, so there's definitely some like recycled products getting used, some things that we've seen before. Um, I know some people pointed out like they're, they're doing like the best of Ipsy. I understand, I'm just saying it is, they, they are recycling some products. So that is something I'm not complaining. Don't take that as me saying I'm not happy with it. I really like the bags and I really like how they're doing this, but yeah. So this one is just a big, beautiful palette. Really love the colors. You get two beautiful cheek palette or cheek shades and then you get a really nice variety of like, I would call them neutral with just like a like a little bit of pop. This silver shade is absolutely gorgeous. The oh, My only complaint is I only get two matte shades with it, but like I think the blushes will also make a really nice eyeshadow. I'm excited to play around with this. Um, I've gotten the Seraphine Botanicals cheek palette in the past. So it came with like two cheek colors and two contour shades. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a look with both of them because I haven't really used that one on camera. And I think that might be a fun little thing to do for you guys to see how it worked out. The next thing that I chose was the, <laughs> This one was so funny because I, I chose this palette and I really was like, I've seen this palette before. Where the hell have I seen this palette before? This is the Wander Beauty Wanderous Seascape palette. I like Wander Beauty a lot. This palette came with six colors and in my choice for this particular section, I had the choice between this and the space case one. And I was like, do I want the space case? It comes, it was more priced. The space case is priced at a higher price point, but it only came with four colors. They were all glitter. And I was like, I don't know. So I opted to get this one, but I was like, I have seen this palette. Where the hell have I seen this palette? Do I own this palette? And that is an issue that I've had in the past where I've, um, I've never rebought a palette that I, I had because I forgot about it, but I've almost rebought palettes. So I was like, have I, do I have this? What do I, do I? My mother got it. That was once again, she had gotten this palette and I had unboxed hers talking about one of the Ipsy's for the Ipsy Plus. And I was like, I know I've seen it. When we were, cause I was standing there with her when she did her add-ons, I, I did my customization first. And then I went downstairs and told her, hey, it's open, you wanna go do it. So I went and stood with her while she was doing it. And when she got to the add-on page, this was not one of the options for her, but when she got to the add-on page, she saw it and she was like, oh, is that the palette you were wondering about? And I was like, yeah, I really feel like I've seen it before. And she's like, I have it. And I was like, if you have it, perfect. That means I don't have it. So that's why I recognize it, but I'm really excited about it. She said it's one of her favorites. She has it in her travel bag so that when she goes out of town, she can just kind of grab it. And she really likes using the blue for an eyeliner shade. So I'm excited about that one. I was, I was actually really happy and I was very happy that I didn't already have it. The final thing I opted to get, I had two choices. I had the choice, well, two choices that I was going back. I had four choices, but two that I was really debating between. Um, one was the the um, little sticks, the, what were they called? The Galactic sticks that my mom got, the one that's broken. And then this was the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion. Um, it is a pore scrubbing cleanser. I love Dr. Brandt. I actually discovered Dr. Brandt because of the subscription services I have. I think the first one I, I first product I got was in a BoxyCharm and it was one of his eye creams. I really do like 
the formula for pretty much all of the products I've used for them. It was hard for me not to choose it because it's such a higher price point. I think this is like a $68, $58 product or something like that. So I, I went with that, even though it was a skincare thing and normally I would choose makeup over skincare, it was just such a great deal and I really loved the brand. So I was like, all right, we'll, 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 we'll go with that. That's the logical choice in my opinion. So that is my bag. That is my mom's bag. Let's talk about favorite bags as a whole. I really like what my mom got, but I think my bag is my favorite. Um, I, I believe I chose my bag last time as well. The only thing in my bag that I really wasn't like who about was the face masks, but when you get four products that you're pretty in, enthused about, three that you really like, even though they're the ones I've chose, it, it's well worth the money. There's no question that this is now worth my $25. I will say if I have to pick my favorite products, I'm actually going to go with her eye cream over mine. I'm going to go with the three products I chose. So that's four. I can do math. So we're talking the Sakura Sage uh, vegan eyeshadow palette here. I'll hold them up. So we got gold fat and MD eye cream. That was number one. We've got the Sakura and Sage palette. That's number two. The Wander Beauty Seascape. That's number three. The Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion, that's number four. And I actually think if I had to choose a fifth product that I would like, I think I would choose her um, Item Cheek Money Bronzer. I really like that a lot. I think that's really pretty. Now, don't get me wrong. I liked I liked her Trisique stick. I liked her space case. I got two palettes already. So I feel like <laughs> one, there's no chance they're ever gonna give me three palettes. Maybe, maybe. I did, I did say in the past, that there was no way I was ever gonna get two eyeshadow palettes. And here we are, I got two eyeshadow palettes, so. Never say never, I guess. But yeah, I, I do like the changes that they've made. I hope that it continues to be strong. I don't mind seeing the recycled products as long as like there's always a couple new ones that are decent in there. To be honest, if they do the space case eyeshadow as a choice another time, I probably will choose to get it because I really debated whether or not I wanted it and I opted to get the wander over it. So I kind of I kind of like the, the way that the direction that it's taking. I'm interested to see how they do if they if it takes off and people really like it are they going to do it with the premium are they going to do it with the standard is this going to be like how they do their subscription boxes now how are boxycharm and the other subscription services going to respond to it are they going to start doing more customization are they just going to kind of up their game like how is it going to happen because i really do think that this has really changed the subscription service game I think most people are enjoying it. I mean, I could be wrong. There could be some people who are like, I don't like this. I'm basically just shopping. Like, why would I not just go to Ulta and buy with? That's my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts on it? Did you like your bag? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments, even if I don't respond as timely or as well as I want to all the time. I really, I read everything. I enjoy hearing your opinions. I enjoy hearing about what you guys got. So definitely leave those in the comments. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. We'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. We're fun here. We, we do stuff. We do things. We make we make videos. So yeah, subscribe. Other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy. You have a wonderful day and you stay curly with a dark twist.